try to stay with the breath as steadily as you can. There's so much change in the world, change in your body. You need something steady. So you've got to make the mind steady. Have a part of the mind that's it's separate from the world. It's right there with the breath. We talk about different kinds of becoming. Like you can have your identity in the world, but when you're meditating, it's like having a separate identity. An identity that's in its own world, where the mind takes care of itself, looks after its unskillful habits, cleans them up, strengthens its skillful ones, and looks at things in those terms, what habits are skillful and unskillful. When you're out in the world, there are a lot of other terms you have to think about. You have to think about this person and that person, your responsibility here, your duties there. But when you're with the breath, it's just the awareness with the breath, and that's it. And all your other identities you can drop away. This way you have a sense of lightness, and the mind can heal itself from all the other wounds that it inflicts on itself and other things outside inflict on it. This way you maintain the health of what's really important to maintain, i.e. the health of the mind. The health of the body is something that comes and goes. We've got these bodies for just a little while, so we try to make the best use of them. But they can last only so long, and sometimes we feel it's they're not lasting as long as they should. But then who says they should? I mean, we could die so easily right after coming out of the womb or even in the womb. We're lucky that we made it this far. And so pay attention to what is of real value inside you, the quality of the mind, because that's what you take with you. The body you have to slough off, and there comes, there comes a point where it's like an old set of clothes that you have to discard. While you're using them, you wash them and you take care of them, but there will come a point where they're, they're just too worn out for use and let them go. So knowing that you're going to have to let it go someday, Take good care of it now and use it as in the best way as you can. In other words, use it for the sake of developing good qualities in the mind. This is why we talk about the bottomies, the perfections, because those are things you can take with you. They have lasting value. Make sure the mind has lots of those. As for other things outside, they come and they go. Use them for the sake of the perfections. When they're there. When they're not there, well, develop patience, develop equanimity. Those are perfections, too. <laughs>